Good morning, duckies. So you can see both cinnamons are in the water. And she likes opening her bill at me. She doesn't like me. I took her eggs yesterday. Even if I look in here, she gives me the old bill, open mouth. Now I can see the water. This has been like two weeks now. It's still clear. Here's her nest she had. Yeah. Made out of grasses. So those eggs were green wing eggs I put in there and hatched out her cinnamons and the incubator finished them. <clears throat> but I went to check them yesterday to see how far along they are. And one of them had a little teeny piece missing off the air sac on the shell, but the memory was, membrane was still intact. And it also had a little round crack in it in the other part. Obviously from smashing against another egg. So I pulled them because they're all still alive, I think. We'll see how that one works out. I should know this week. They're in the incubator. Here's the ruddy box. As you can see, still nothing. She goes in it a bunch of times a day. So there's not going to be any eggs this year from them. I mean, the buffalo head box. <clears throat> but whatever. So yeah, I had to pull those five eggs off that nest, put in the incubator yesterday. I'll hatch them out in the house. But then here, <clears throat> you can see I did a bunch of weeding in here. I had to catch those three birds recently and all that fur ferny, whatever leafy stuff was, I couldn't even find the babies. So let's see in here, I believe this one's still sitting. Yep. And this one. She's all buried in there. All right, so this box <clears throat> no longer has her eggs in it. I candled them the other day, and there was like nine of them or something like that, and they were all clear. So, I went over to that box where my ring teal was laying and took her eggs out of there and put them under the green wing. Because she's been laying for like a week and a half here and there. And I wanted to catch them before they got really old. So some of them might be a week and a half. Most of them are probably within the week. And she's not sitting yet, so I switched them out for a little while. Even though they're not fertile eggs, I'll pay attention. They won't go bad. Yeah, so, yeah, it's amazing. Don't count your eggs. You know the old phrase. So all the eggs in there were infertile. The eggs that were in that corner that I pulled, those hatched. I can't remember which ones are which anymore. But I had two nests of infertile eggs. Of, they're both green wing. Could be this year's birds. Hasn't been a hot summer this year. Just now getting hot. <clears throat> so the birds that are sitting, I give them eggs to sit. That's what it was. That one there. That's the one where three hatched from. I put the rest in this box because those were infertile. And those were in, both of these boxes were infertile. 
So now that one's got ring teals under her. And this one's got green wings, but they came from a different spot. See, pretty much done molting. That green wing's starting to molt now. <clears throat> the hooded, he's all molted. He's got new wings, it looks like. Nice stripy feathers. They're over there preening the mandarin. Anyway, let's see what the box has in there. I think I left four eggs in it the other day. This is her third season. She's finally laid eggs. So we only hatched one last year. She laid two. Let's see what we got in here. I'd say she added one. I think I had four in there. So I don't know if she's going to sit them just, or just lay them in there. Because she hasn't gone in to sit. No feathers in there or anything. But that's why I put those other eggs in there so she wouldn't know the difference. At least this way, if she doesn't sit, they're being sat right now. So I had a lot of infertile eggs this year. Bunch of infertile wood duck eggs. Cinnamons were almost all 100%, probably 98%. But I definitely got like probably 12 to 15 green wing eggs that were not fertile. I don't know if it's because something with this bird here that he was fighting early in the season and for breeding rights, but he molted really early, so I just don't think he's feeling right. He's still molting. Been doing it for a while. But he's also getting old, too. It's one of the first birds I ever got. In fact, first two birds I got were green wings. So yeah, I don't know what's up. I so far only got three hatched green wings and I got <clears throat> five eggs in the incubator and whatever's in that one box. I think it's going to be a light year for green wings again. I figured it'd be better having four hens this year. But there's no predicting. You get what you get. Yeah, I'm gonna till this whole thing pretty soon. I'll rip these weeds out of here and get some grass back down. Because this leafy crap took over bad. Even the whole yard, you can see it's everywhere. Here we got <clears throat> cinnamon still. They're getting old. They're starting to get wing feathers. You can see little shoots. So they'll have wings pretty soon. So nine of those. This 
system got to get clean today. As you can see, there's a wood duck in there, and the rest are cinnamons from a couple different hatches. I did lose one wood duck out of this group because somehow they all freak out and around, but somehow right in between here, you can see there's, there's barely any gap, but he somehow snuck between that plywood and the wire, got to the other side, and then he got wet and drowned. Well, froze to death. He was not in the water. He was buried under birds and like don't know how he fit through there, but he did. I went crazy weeding in here. Not that I'm done yet, but... Let's see. It was so overgrown in here, I couldn't see the birds. So this was our first two hatches of the year. There's still nine woodies and six cinnamons. <clears throat> I think it's a little extra on drakes. I haven't really paid much attention. We'll see. I left some of the weeds on the side for sight block. You got your food all wet. So I think that's where we're at today. My little baby pen over there has my khaki in it. She was getting beat up by the drakes, so I separated her until she heals up. She's losing too many feathers. I'm going to need that pen pretty soon. So there we go. That's the baby updates for this week. Hopefully, coming a weekend, I'll have some more.